Hey guys, my name is Justin and I just weather sealed my attic vent. So I'm in the baby's playroom and we have been having a ton of rain this week. And I just started noticing a small drip right out of that hole right there. So I'm gonna go in the attic and see if I can figure out where that leak is coming from. So I went in the attic and I ended up finding out that it is leaking out of this attic vent right here. So I'm gonna go up there and take a look at the seal and see if it cracked. Hi, Lou. So I'm up to the vent and I can for sure see all the old caulking has been peeling away. I mean, look, it's just falling apart. That's all, see if you can see the top. So I'm gonna have to get some caulk and reseal this. Shouldn't be too bad. So I'm not gonna need too much for this. The main thing is the caulk. Uh, when you're picking your caulk, I'm looking for a couple things. Is one, I wanted to make sure it was exterior so it holds up. Uh, to the side, it says what it adheres to. My wool is stucco, so you want to make sure it adheres to your material. And then I just picked a color that would kind of match my wool. You need some sort of cutter to cut the top off, a caulk gun to apply, and then some rags. And I like putting a little WD 40 on the rags just when you smooth the caulk line, it helps it not stick. So I'm gonna use my knife just to pop a little hole in this top. I like cutting it at an angle to apply smoother. You can use the back end to kind of drag across so the caulk line comes out smooth. And then you wanna make sure your hole is roughly the same size as the crack you're applying to. If you go too big, it's just a big glob. And if you go too small, you're gonna have to go over it a couple times. Look on it and then you know that you punctured through. And you can just apply it into your gun, pull the trigger a couple times to make it tight and then you squeeze this trigger to apply. In case you can't tell, I am doing this work from my child's play table. And I'm gonna try to get my angle going against the side so when I pull down, the tube will smooth out the line for me. And you just kind of pull the trigger to apply the cork. And I get it right in the crack. a pretty good color. It should darken a little bit when it dries. So there's my bead. I'm going to take a rag with just a little WD-40 sprayed on it to wipe it smooth. One side down. I don't really care if it's messy. The colors are a pretty good match and when you're from the floor, you're never gonna see it. But as I go through, I just wanna make sure that there's no cracks, that the silicone really filled every spot. Looks good. I'm gonna do all four sides. So on this bottom side here, I think I am gonna put a layer of tape here because that's the one that's gonna be right underneath you and you're gonna be looking right up at it. And if you're gonna see any side, it's gonna be this one. So I'm gonna at least make this one side clean. So I'm just gonna put a thin straight line of blue tape with enough so that my caulking shows. And this is when I do my caulking and peel the tape off, it will leave a nice straight line underneath it. So I applied my caulk, and now when I pull my tape off, you wanna pull away from the silicone. It'll leave a nice straight line like that. That looks better.
I ended up talking myself into the taping the sides. I figured the bottom can be out so good. There's no reason not to. So I'm gonna peel this off and yeah, look how nice a straight line. That's stupid not to. All the way to the top. And let's peel the top layer. I'm not as particular about the top because again, no one's gonna see it. And I actually want it to be a little globby on top because that's where most of the rain's gonna come in. At the end, I like to just spray a little WD-40 on my finger and just give it one quick pass through at the end just to kind of smooth it out. Uh, when you do that, you want to make sure you go all the way. You don't stop and start in the middle. You also want to make sure you do it pretty quickly because once it starts to dry and you do it, it's going to smear and be like bumpy and not be nice. You want to still do it while it's wet. But just one quick path, all four sides, just to smooth it out. And she done. Just gonna take one quick pass through and make sure everything is filled in smooth. I didn't miss any cracks. That looks good. Underneath. Good, good, good. Nice and smooth. I can't see the top. Let me stack that out there. Can you guys tell me if I missed anything? Leave a comment below if I missed anything. Let me know. I'm just kidding. That would not help me at all. I feel like YouTubers say that sometimes. And I should. And that's that. Should be good. Next time it rains, I'll have to check it out. Looks good though. You can't see any marks from down here. While I'm here, let me give a shout out to my cameraman. <laughs> but that should be that.